High above Earth, thousands of silent machines circle the planet. They guide missiles, steer aircraft, connect armies, and watch every square mile of terrain if even a handful were disabled. The modern world would stagger phones dead, navigation lost. Weapons blinded in 2019, the United States created a new branch of its armed forces to prevent the nightmare of the United States Space Force. It may still be the youngest service, but its mission is already transforming the way America fights deters. And the French idea of space as a battlefield is not new. During the Cold War, both the U.S. and the Soviet Union launched reconnaissance satellites and tested anti-satellite weapons, but for decades. Orbit remained a domain of observation rather than combat. Then came the 21st century GPS, global internet precision, guided bombs, drone fleets, and cyber warfare, all dependent on satellites. Suddenly, space was no longer a frontier. It was critical infrastructure. In December 2019, the Space Force became the sixth branch of the U.S. military. Its annual budget, about $30 billion in 2025, is small compared with the Army or Navy. Yet its influence reaches every command post and cockpit on Earth. Space Force's central mission is simple: to describe and impossible to overstate, protect America's freedom of action in space, and deny the same to its adversaries. That mission divides into three pillars: space domain awareness, satellite operations, and counter space capable at space. Domain awareness means knowing what is orbiting overhead. More than 11,000 trackable objects move through Earth's orbit from active satellites to debris. The 18th Space Defense Squadron at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California tracks them all using radar rays, telescopes, and data from commercial partners. It maintains the world's most detailed orbital catalog. When Russia tested a direct ascent anti-satellite missile in 2021. And shattered its own satellite into more than 1,500 pieces. It was the U.S. Space Force that warned astronauts aboard the International Space Station to take shelter. Satellite operations form the heart of daily activity. The Space Force now manages roughly 77 military satellites, including the GPS-3 constellation, the Advanced Extremely High Frequency Communications Network. And the space-based infrared system used for missile warning. Every precision bomb dropped, every aircraft carrier positioned, every missile defense interceptor guided all rely on these orbiting nodes to protect them. The space force works with the space development agency to deploy the new proliferated warfighter space architecture. Hundreds of small networked satellites launched in layers. Of low Earth orbit to ensure resilience, if one is destroyed, dozens more can pick up its role within seconds. Counter space capability is the quiet part of the mission. Officially, the U.S. says it seeks to prevent conflict in space. Unofficially, it must be ready to fight there if needed. The counter communications system Block 10 to field it in 2020 can jam hostile satellite links without permanent damage. More advanced electronic warfare suites. Are in development under classified programs. The X-37B orbital test vehicle, a reusable space plane built by Boeing, has completed seven secretive missions since 2010, staying aloft for more than 900 days at a time. Its exact payloads are undisclosed, but experts believe it tests satellite surfacing technology, surveillance instruments, and possibly counter satellite measures. Space Force's workforce remains small. About 16,000 guardians, as its members are called, but its partnerships are vast. It coordinates with the National Reconnaissance Office, NASA, private launch firms like SpaceX and United Launch Alliance, and allied forces through NATO and the Combined Space Operations Initiative. In 2025, Space Force personnel operate from more than 20 installations. Worldwide, including Peterson Space Force Base in Colorado and Shriver Space Force Base, home to the Delta VI Cyber Operations Squadron, Nimogen. This it is 2027. A hostile power launches a series of small satellites into low Earth orbit within hours. American intelligence detects unusual radio patterns, jamming attempts against GPS signals over the Pacific. Fighter jets lose navigation. Missile defenses hesitate in that instant. The Space Force becomes the first line of response. The 18th Space 
Defense Squadron flags the threat Delta-8 satellite operations retask orbital assets Delta-9 space control coordinate electronic countermeasures. Within minutes ground stations redirect laser communications to alternate frequencies and the network stabilizes the conflict never becomes visible to the public yet a potential global crisis is avoided that is modern deterrence in space warfare fought in milliseconds unseen but decisive. The Space Force is also preparing for a new class of threats hypersonic glide vehicles and orbital debris cascades. In 2023, the U.S. Space Command activated the Integrated Tactical Warning and Attack Assessment System fusing data from SPURS and next-generation overhead persistent infrared satellites. These sensors can track missile launches anywhere on Earth within seconds and feed coordinates directly to missile defense interceptors. Each NGOPIR satellite costs roughly $2 billion, but provides coverage for an entire hemisphere. Meanwhile, the Space Development Agency's tranche one transport layer more than 160 small satellites begins operation in 2025, offering global encrypted data relay for the first time. Tactical units on the ground can connect directly to space. Based networks without relying on fixed infrastructure, the Department of Defense calls this the backbone of Joint All-Domain Command and control the concept that links every sensor and shooter. Across land, sea, air, cyber, and space, the Space Force provides the highway on which the information travels budget growth mirrors that ambition from $15 billion in 2021 to over $30 billion by 2025. With more than $4 billion dedicated to research and development of next generation, systems among them electronic propulsion satellite, quantum-resistant encryption, and orbital debris removal vehicles built with NASA and DARPA the Space Force is not just defending orbit. It is building the future economy of space itself yet the transformation raises questions treaties like the 1967 Outer Space Treaty forbid the placement of weapons of mass destruction in orbit but say little about directed energy systems or co-orbital interceptors competitors such as China's People's Liberation Army Strategic Support Force and Russia's Kosmicheski voice could develop their own anti-satellite capabilities each test spawns more debris making the domain riskier for everyone analysts born of a space arms race a competition for high ground that cannot be occupied but must be controlled inside the Pentagon strategists argue that the space first changes not just warfare but deterrence itself in the past threats were answered by visible forces fleets armies bombers information now deterrence is data-driven. A potential enemy knows that the U.S. can see every launch pad and every missile in motion from the moment its engines ignite. That knowledge alone prevents Warby 2 to 5 The Space Force is integrated into every joint. Operation Air Force pilots receive targeting updates from space assets in real time. Navy ships synchronize missile defense grids through orbital links. Army commanders on the battlefield use space-based intelligence. To predict enemy movements, even the nuclear triad relies on space warning satellites to maintain stability. In effect, the Space Force acts as the nervous system of the U.S. military invisible, but essential its training pipelines. Grow accordingly the National Security Space Institute in Colorado Springs educates new guardians in orbital mechanics, cyber operations, and quantum communications. By 2026, the service expects to commission more officers with computer science and astrophysics degrees than any other branch. It also leads the space test and training range of virtual environment that simulates satellite conflicts. So operators can rehearse responses without risk being defense the Space Force stimulates the come. Rial sector launch costs have dropped to less than $1,500 per kilogram thanks to SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets allowing rapid deployment of military and civilian payloads new contracts under the National Security Space Launch Phase 3 program extend through 2030 with billions in awards to private companies the line between public and private space effort is now blurred America's defense and its entrepreneurship are fused in orbit picture the night sky a decade from now thousands of pinpoints
Move in silent formation, some belong to commercial internet constellations, others to scientific missions, a select few guard the security of an entire nation. Each of them represents a new form of power not territory or resources, but information, and speed the U.S. space for stands at the intersection of technology and strategy where control of data equals control of deterrence its creation marks the moment. When warfare left the surface of the Earth and entered the cosmos, whether this ensures lasting peace or introduces a new arena of competition depends on how wisely the power is used. But one truth is clear from now on every conflict on Earth. We'll have a shadow in space. This is Military Summary USA, your daily dose of defense, power, and strategy. Subscribe for tomorrow's deep analysis.